Greetings, Slackers. It's February 28th, 2016. Over here with another article for you I wanted to share. And this is for all you spiritual and enlightened people who are on the path, such as myself. Meet Mindful, dating site for a little zen. Colorado Company targets the mindful romantic. Uh, this is by Jacqueline Allen. Goes on to say here, a Colorado tech company is cashing in on the growing mindfulness movement by creating a new dating app targeting those interested in yoga, personal development, and healthy living. In her Denver yoga studio, Katie Paulson practices mindfulness every day. Quote, I really feel like I found my people, my community, said Paulson. In her dating life, though, sites like Match.com or apps like Tinder didn't really flow. Quote, I wanted to find someone that had my similar interests and who was spiritual and maybe does yoga and is fit and cares about what they eat and put into their body, end quote, said Paulson. So Paulson started searching a new site, meetmindful.com, which states, quote, our community practices personal development, yoga and fitness, conscious diet, environmentalism, spirituality, service to others. Amy Bagwin. CEO and co-founder said that Meet Mind fulfills a void in the dating market that she herself experienced. Quote, I had the same problem over and over. I keep hearing it from all of our customers, which is that dating was like finding a needle in a haystack and being surrounded by people you knew you didn't want to talk to, end quote, said Bagley. Turns out, she said, Zen dating is good business. The tech startup just launched an updated app was selected for the prestigious Tech Stars program and helped Baglin meet her boyfriend. Quote, we've been dating for seven months, said Baglin. Whether it be like Tantra workshop or going to energy healing practitioners, one of the coolest things about meeting Joe is he's open to all that stuff, end quote. Baglin said she noticed the need when she had an event planning company called Yoga Dates and noticed people who didn't practice yoga showing up to meet like-minded people. She said only about 15 to 20 percent of meet mindful users practice yoga and most are interested in personal development and growth work. Quote, what matters most is that somebody can respect why somebody does something and be open minded to maybe learning a thing or two, she said. Just like other dating apps, there are profile pictures and age filters, but unlike other apps, there are mantras and more women than men. Hmm. Guys, are you listening? Are you out there on the path? Hey, more women, more access for you, which is fine with Pascal Wagner, an entrepreneur who just moved to Denver and wouldn't mind meeting someone mindful. Quote, what I find is interesting or different about Meet Mindful is the emotional intelligence, said Wagner. For Katie Paulson, scrolling through the app turns up some interesting matches. Quote, a driven, enlightened, grounded poet. She reads one man's self-description. She said, Meet Mindful led to few fun dates. Quote, we went to a yoga studio and then went to get tacos and tequila. She said with a smile, that was fun. Meet Mindful is a national app, but Denver and Boulder are the company's largest markets. Quote, it makes so much sense, said Baglin. The Colorado lifestyle is the epitome of what we're going to offer. Baglin said Meet Mindful is hoping to create a million conscious power couples by 2020 with the goal of making the world a better place. Quote, not only does it increase the happiness levels and satisfaction of their lives, but there's a ripple effect around the world in the lives of people they touch, said Baglin. And I um, just want to chime in on that. I can definitely relate because let's just say I've been through some things years ago that put me on the path of becoming more mindful. And as I began gaining my consciousness and becoming more aware, it was becoming increasingly difficult for me to, uh, let's just say, meet women who were on the same level as me, you know, uh, who had the same interest, who had the same emotional intelligence, you know, who didn't think uh, going for a hike, or going and sitting in the park and, you know, doing something as simple as flying a kite uh, was a bad idea. Uh, coming from California, you know, 
out there. It's all about your appearance status and, you know, how much money you got, stuff like that. And this is not a stab at everyone, but it certainly was a challenge to find people who were like minded. So it's cool that a website like this is out. Uh, and I hope that it's successful. I hope that it grows and more people find out about it because there is more people who are beginning to, you know, wake up and come into this whole mindfulness experience. And it, it's a it's a great thing. What do you think about it? Are you mindful? What do you think about people who were into yoga, who were in the crystals? And uh, and I'll just add this in as a bonus for you. If you are using plenty of fish. You know, with plenty of fish, you can target people based on your interests. Therefore, if you're into these mindful experiences, mindfulness activities, you can definitely load up your interests on plenty of fish and women will actually seek you out. They have found me before, you know, based on different things that I like to do because I'm into meditation and, you know, going for walks in the park, you know, the type of stuff that men are not supposed to like to do. But uh, that's me. And maybe if you're the same way. You can add these things to your profile and they will definitely boost your chances of being discovered, making it easier for you to meet people. Please leave your thoughts and comments down below. That's going to do it for this article. I will catch you in the next one. September, man.